Whoa! <laughs> Do you feel like a champagne breakfast? Guess what? Contract's here. That's it, we're writing a book. Off to the store, getting some champagne before Denise and Morrison get here, and then we'll celebrate. Ah, there they are. Yo. Celebration time! For what? Celebration time! That's some really fancy champagne. We are going to write a book. Woohoo! A book? Oh my god! What's that? It's so early. It's so early. Come on. It's, okay, it's, it it's really a good breakfast, fancy. Morrison. I'm gonna get a knife. Let me get a quick knife. We're gonna savor this ball of champagne. The rooster. One day that rooster. I promise you guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Full disclosure here, I've never done this before, ever. Or should I say, I've never been able to do it successfully. So, trial and error. Fancy! Fancy! Nothing but the best for my team, if it's not too expensive. <laughs> Come on, Denise. Why are you standing in the, you're standing in the lane of projector? Come, why did you stand? The safe place is next to me. So I'm pointing this thing at Morsum because it will, it will make for a good video. I'm gifted with the, the gift of knowledge. I don't need to search out things. I just trial and error my way through life. Whoa! <laughs> I scared the top off this, off this bottle. <laughs> Look at that. Do you feel like a champagne breakfast? Champagne breakfast. Chin chin! Mm, that's good champagne. <laughs> what have I been drinking all these years? <laughs> Let me show you the grill, guys. They're freaking awesome. Uh, cool. Yeah. What's that? Uh, it might be rain. Oh, I've got this beautiful steak. So we need. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's go. Napoleon sent us grills to make the book. We got a new kettle. We got a smoker. We even have the Prestige. Look at this giant. It's freaking awesome. We got the Rogue over there. And last but certainly not least, we got the charcoal version. One of my favorites. Hey, what more do you want? Thumbnail time. Okay, let me shake this thing. <laughs> That's like a wet fart. You guys drunk all the champagne. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. It's supposed to be going to rain in an hour or so. It's now. now. Yeah, I know it's now. It's dropping from the sky. Time to fire up a barbecue. This, guys, let me put the glasses down. This is the Napoleon Prestige. This thing is freaking awesome. Looks at the size of it. Look at the amount of meat we can fit in here. And that's just what we need because I got some special meat today. But before we take a look at that, let's just enjoy the moment. What a thing, what a beauty. Look at the amount of gas you can store in this thing. And the stuff that you can fit in here. See, <laughs> she's the awesome assistant. We need to hook it up with some gas, fire it up. So, no, <laughs> I'm getting gas. When I turn it on, it becomes red. Now this is what I call a grill. I'm going to turn all of these burners on and let the barbecue come up to temperature, burn off any residue that was in there from the factory. So we got the grill nice and clean. And in the meantime, we are going to take a look at the meat. Why are you laughing, Denise? Because <laughs> you talk funny. I talk funny. Let's take a look at the meat. Come on. I have this meat saved for special occasions. They didn't even unpack it yet. It's seven kilograms of dry aged beef. Let's get it out of the paper. Look at that. <laughs> what a beauty. We've got a beautiful dry aged rack of beef here. It's been dry aged for four weeks. Now I'm gonna be roasting this slowly on our gas grill. I want to take off the bones, I want to take off the outsides, all of the dry stuff that we're not going to use and that are not going to taste fantastic on your beef. 
I'm gonna take it off. First, I'm going to cut along the bone and I'm using a filleting knife to make sure that we cut along the bone as tight as we can, as we don't want to have too much waste. Now we'll do the same from the top to work our way through all the way down and it's separated. Biggest soup bone you ever had. What we've got left is this beautiful cut of beef. Now all we need to do is take off the dry bit, the hard parts, because we want that juicy tender inside. We want that beefy flavor and that beautiful steak. And look what is inside. What a beauty of a steak. I'm removing the bit of fat as well. It's been aged on that fat, so I want to take it off. Make sure that we don't have any of it left. Now I'm looking because you see guys, they're here, there's a hard bit here, cartilage. We can't eat it, so we need to take it off. And I'm looking for where it ends so we can save some of this meat, but taking this part out. I'm gonna run with my knife up toward the cartilage, exposing it with the knife underneath. Work your way through and then take it off. That's way too tough. Now that we've got this beautiful part of beef left, all we need to do is season it with a little bit of salt, put it on the barbecue and let it come up to temperature. And the reason why we're not seasoning this afterwards like I normally do is because we're going to cook this as a roast. So I want to have that seasoning on there while we're roasting it, getting that beautiful crust on the outside. We're on TikTok now, Marshall. Where all the kids are, we are also on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, follow us. I'm using Fleur de Sel. Normally I'm using Maldon as a finishing salt, which is a pyramid salt, it melts easily. Now I want a little bit more body. That's why I use the natural sea salt Fleur de Sel. Sprinkle it on, and we want a lot of salt on there because this is a thick cut of meat. Time to set this on a Napoleon Prestige. In the center, look at that. What a beautiful cut. Now we're going to turn the outside burners on. When we put the two outside burners on, we create an indirect heat. So the airflow will go up in the grill, will go over the meat and turn around. Go back again, over the meat and turn around. So we're creating a hot air oven. We're going to let it run at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. While we're cooking our steak, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my book. I want the book to have the same vibe as we got in these videos. I'm making the book for you guys. You are my main audience. And that is what I find important. Oh, it's raining again. Come. So basically, I'm going to make this about recipes, but it's also going to have a story of me and my past and everything that I experienced and how I learned things. And I want to put a crazy amount of techniques in there. Of course, we'll have to see in the end. It's probably going to be around March when it's available next year, 2020. So you guys are going to have to wait for a long time. This is also one of the reasons that we hired Denise to join the team. We need to have beautiful pictures. Of course, you've seen it on our Instagram. If you haven't yet, go do it right now. Go to Instagram. You can see the beautiful pictures. They're going to be the same in the book, high quality. So I'm so looking forward to this. The only problem is I need to write the book. I got to get on it. What are you doing, Denise? I'm making the recipes for our patrons. So you, so you also make the recipes? Yes, that's what I do. It's and not all I do. What else do you do? I, uh, I make sure we have Instagram posts and Facebook posts, and Twitter. <laughs> what else do you do? What else do I do? I make uh, photos and little videos. <laughs> well, what else do you do? What else? I dance. <laughs> I <Huh>? sing. <laughs> See? What else? What else? And I paint, and I uh, draw, and I uh, make music. Wow. <laughs> Joy! Wife and kids are going camping. I'm staying here to write a book for you guys. Never forget it. Well, as you guys can see, it's the Netherlands again, living up to its reputation. Raining, raining. But 
Our steak is done, so time to take it off the grill. Of course, I'm gonna use the core thermometer to measure the core temperature of the meat. We reached the temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. Time to take it off. It's so super juicy. Juices are running out already. But besides, we got that crisp up the top. Look at how nice and golden brown it is. A little bit of the mahogany color on top. I wanna finish this off on our sizzle zone. So let's fire it up, turn on the gas, let it flow into our sizzle zone. And when it's there, light it up. We wait until the sizzle zone is nice and red hot. Look at it, it's getting up to temperature. We need a little bit more heat. We want to take maximum advantage of that beautiful heat that is glowing red hot. Let's take our beautiful beef. Oh, that's a big one. And there we go, onto the sizzle zone. Now I want to keep moving this around as much as possible so we get the maximum amount of caramelization and the best crust we can get. And when we've got that beautiful crust, it's time to take it off before it burns. <laughs> and be careful with those flames. Oh yeah, look at that. What a beast, this Napoleon Prestige. <laughs> I think I'm in love. We're going to let our roast rest because it needs a little time for itself, just away from me and the fire. Just give it some R&R. &R. And then in 10 minutes time, we're gonna slice into it. I'm so hungry. And we earned it, Marcin. I think we earned it, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Does that look good or what? What a roast. <laughs> what a beauty. Look at how juicy that is. Perfectly cooked. Pink from edge to edge. This is beef heaven. There's only one thing left to do. Bite into it. Of course I'm gonna take the centerpiece. Look at it. It's screaming. Eat me. Getting it cubed up. Now, starting on the outside with a little crust. There we go. Mmm, my God. This is why I love barbecue so much. It's super, super juicy. Crispy on the outside. This is just one little chunk of happiness. You want one, Morrison? I'm so hungry. Because of all the moet. <laughs> we shouldn't be drinking in the morning. It's a bad idea. It's super simple. Just beef, well dry aged, super tasteful. It's just fantastic. Now that was one tasty cut of beef. I had a lot of fun making it and the grill is just fantastic. I'm so happy Napoleon sent over all these grills to make this book happen. It kind of like raises the bar a little bit. It has to be good now. I just, I don't want to let anybody down. So I'm going to put in all my effort for the coming weeks. So you can expect in August to have a little few less videos than what you're used to. But hey, it's well worth the investment, right? I hope the book will turn out great and you guys are gonna love it. It will be available worldwide, which is an important thing. Yeah, super excited. I hope you guys are too. And if you are, let me know in the comment down below and uh, leave this video a big thumbs up. See you guys on the next one. In the meantime, your Patreon is fucking freaking rock. YouTube members are freaking awesome. Uh, hey, I'm on TikTok right now, so just check that out. Keep on grilling. Eat smuggling.